Yo everyone, welcome back as always and it's time to go balls deep and as we said earlier We were going to make our own Naruto plot hole video in the future I even did a live stream discussing some of these plot holes with you guys and pretty much a lot of you agreed with my logic So here we are I'm going to explain what the plot hole is break down the logic and reasoning to why it's a problem And also try to debunk it for everyone all at the same time This is going to be another series of Naruto videos on our channel So be sure to follow us on Twitter or Instagram or commenting below if you have any plot holes of your own that you would like to share with us and discuss you know so we can do a video about it in the future without further ado let's get started Right, the plot hole goes something like this. Sasuke, after awakening the Renengon in his left eye, gained the ability to use the six path technique, which includes the outer path. And through the outer path, Sasuke should have been able to use the Samsara of Heavenly Life technique, which basically is the reincarnation ninjutsu known as Rene Rebirth. So the question arises, why did Sasuke revive everyone who died after the war, or at least some of the main characters like Neji, Ino, or Shikamaru's father, or even Obito? This also begs another question, as we elaborate further in the video, the Rene rebirth technique does not have a time limit since Madara created his whole idea from the beginning that he would be revived by Obito Uchiha longer than 15 years after his death had already happened. When Kabuto revived Madara, Madara himself was absolutely shocked and said, what am I doing here? And then Kabuto elaborated that he has done the impure reincarnation jutsu on him and has improved his body. Madara just went along with the new chain of events but stuck to the plan with Obito reviving him later on. So technically speaking, we as fans believe that Sasuke even now as a 32 year old man in Boruto that has now mastered the Renegon, why can't he revive the great ninja of the past or even his brother Itachi Uchiha, the whole Uchiha clan for that matter. He must have this technique under his belt. But before we validate this as an actual plot hole, we first need to understand the fundamentals of how the reincarnation ninjutsu works and answer the important questions such as does this technique need to be used within a certain time span? Does the user after using this technique actually die? If both of these questions have the answer of no, then Sasuke should be able to bring back the dead from any time frame without no consequence. There is hardly any reason for him not to use this technique besides purposes that Kijimoto did not want to happen with within the rules of the Naruto universe of course. So this begs the next question, how does the Samsara of Heavenly Technique work and what are the requirements of it? Well before even performing this Jutsu as mentioned earlier, the user will need to be the wielder of the Renengon, which in this case Sasuke was and still is. The user will also have to master the Renengon to the point where they can use all the six paths thus the outer path. Sasuke more than likely has mastered this at the current age in the Boruto series. Now how it works is that the user usually have to summon the King of Hell, which then and releases the souls of the deceased from its mouth. Now, I say usually, because this wasn't the case when Obito was forced to use this technique to revive Madara. This could possibly be the case because Madara's soul was already binded to his vessel, which then turned into a real body, which kind of makes sense in my head to be fair. You can let me know what you think in the comment section below. So basically, as long as the soul isn't sealed, then all is okay. Now another thing to know is that when the soul is called back, it will enter into the original body which would then be rejuvenated to an extent. Like, my man Madara had missing eyes when he came back. Now for argument's sake, some of you have got to this point of the video and are saying, oh my god, well Sasuke doesn't have the Rene rebirth technique, so how is this a plot hole? You need to maybe have two Renegon like Nagato or Madara to learn this technique anyway. But uh, no, not really, we can argue against that, that doesn't seem to be the case. This is because Obito had one Renegon and one Sharingan and still had the six paths, so the argument that you need two Renegon to use this technique and that's why Sasuke does not have it is actually invalid. Sasuke must also have this technique and have the capability of learning it. Obito in fact also only had one Renegon when he revived Madara Uchiha. Sasuke also has a special Renegon on top of it which no other Uchiha has had, you have to put some respect on his name god damn it he is the reincarnation of asura and has hagarama otsuki chakra and genetics so to say sasuke doesn't potentially have this technique but the likes of obito who was a normal uchiha that got blessed with hashirama cells and other shit is quite illogical to say madara had prior knowledge that obito for a fact would know this technique because he will inherit his running on therefore sasuke should 100 know it therefore as naruto fans we can all deduce that all users of the running potentially have this 
technique. As Hagoromo, the Sage of Six Paths, he also used a similar technique to which he summoned the Hokage for a short period of time after Kaguya was defeated. I know you guys can all remember that and you guys are probably nodding your head like, oh my god, this guy's making sense. Let me hold up for a second. So we can technically come to the conclusion that Sasuke hasn't chosen to use it or learn this jutsu. Okay, now that I have answered that question and we are all on the same page, let's get into the question on whether or not this jutsu needs to be used within a certain time span. Hold up now, before we do answer that, we have to cast our own special sponsorship no jutsu. But seriously, this video was made possible by Honkai Impact 3, which is a fast-paced gacha-style RPG game created by Mihoyo. You play as Valkyries who are basically badass anime female warriors, and I'm pretty sure some of them would end up as your perfect waifu. This game allows players to obtain items both through gameplay and through the usage of its in-game currency called crystals. And unlike a lot of mobile games nowadays, it's not puzzle or resource based, Honkai is a beat-em-up RPG. So there are characters to level, weapons to upgrade, items drop to upgrade, and the overall playing experience is really smooth. Using the touchpad works really well and it's also really fun to time combos activating powerful moves and at the same time dodging attacks, which does require some level of skill, so it will keep you entertained for a long time. If you want to spice things up, there are many different game modes to play, from the main story to the extra stories to even co-op along with many different variations. The game also has a lot of support from the developers Mihoyo where they are constantly updating and setting new unique events in the game to keep things interesting. In fact, they just released the new patch. This anime game is available on both Android and iOS, so it doesn't really matter what phone you have. And to be real with you guys, we both played it and definitely can give our seal of approval. But don't just take our word for it, the game already has over 1 million downloads with close to 5 star rating. If you guys like anime and games like us, then make sure to give this a go. The link is in the comment section and description below, along with an awesome anime cinematic of the game. Anyways, let's get back to the video. To answer if the Rinne Rebirth Jutsu can only revive the dead within a certain time span, we have to go back to the series to the first time the technique was used. Nagato stated that there is still time to save those I killed in Konoha, implying that there is some sort of time frame. But this isn't really clear if the time frame is due to Nagato nearing his death and depleting in Chakra, or if the souls had freshly departed to the pure land, therefore making it possible to bring them back due to that reason. However, logically, it would make more sense that Nagato was implying that there is a time limit of how long the dead was deceased for. But this later gets contradicted by the fact that Madara's whole plan was to be revived with this technique and the time span was not a criteria. As we mentioned earlier, one could say that by using Ido Tensei on Madara, it allowed the Rene rebirth technique to be used, as his soul was already binded, but this wouldn't make sense as Madara wasn't expected to be brought back with Ido Tensei. In fact, he was utterly surprised. So either Madara was a dumbass and Kabuto literally saved his plan from failing, or time span is not a requirement for this technique. We are going to go with the latter. So as a result of this contradiction, most Naruto fans in the community in general have to come to the conclusion that Nagato specifically stated that because of his chakra being low and it was running out, this resulted in him not having much time to revive everyone before he died, right? Now going back to the other flaw of this technique, does the person die after using it? Now looking at this holistically, it would seem that the Rene Rebirth technique requires the user's life. After all, it was stated by Obito to Madara in Naruto Manga Chapter 600. Along with the fact that both instances of the using this, Nagato and Obito die eventually, right? To top it all off, this was also stated in the Naruto official data book stating that using this technique causes the caster to die. One of the only reasons why Madara needed to be revived no matter what was because he wanted to be alive to become the ten-tailed Jinchuriki and this was only possible if someone used this technique. However, after doing some analysis and critical thinking of course, going balls deep, the reasoning given in the manga is that the jutsu causes the user to die due to chakra depletion, as the technique requires an incredible amount of it. This was implied by Conan as she indicated that Nagato using this technique would only suffer death because of his chakra levels. If he did it whilst at 100%, the way it was written and the dialogue, it implies that he would at least survive. Nagato was able to revive literally everyone he killed in Konoha, which easily amounted to an unmeasurable amount when you watch the scene again of course, due to 
him sacrificing himself and literally turning old and grey. Nagato being an Uzumaki more than likely played a part in aiding the ample amount of chakra needed. Now Obito only revived one person, who was Madara, and after that he didn't die instantly. Instead he managed to live long enough to give his talk no jutsu plus much more, right? In fact, after being forced to use this technique by Black Zetsu, Obito was about to die until his chakra and life force was revamped by Naruto. Naruto had his godly powers. Only in chapter 686, after Obito sacrifices himself to save both Naruto and Sasuke, he then dies. Well, at least his body does. So Obito's death isn't really linked back to him using the Rinne Rebirth technique at all. He survived a good 30 chapters after using it in chapter 656. So yes guys, this is a plot hole. Or, or at least this needs more clarification in the future. But all plot holes have their counter arguments. We as fans can create logical basis or analysis on how they can be fixed based upon the law and rules established in the anime. So to me, the way I would fix this plot hole regarding Sasuke not using Rene Rebirth is this. You listening? You, you sure? Because it's just a theory in my opinion to be fair. One of the biggest reasons why Sasuke may not be using this technique to bring back people from the dead is because it is conceptually a kinjutsu, it's simply forbidden and against the law. Kinjutsu are techniques that have been banned from being taught or used, techniques that violate the laws of nature are included in this, thus including the samsara of heavenly life technique. Therefore, we know Sasuke is following the law and atoning for his sins of the past. He is a changed man, guys, that likely doesn't want to cause a political uproar of course. Leaders and villagers will see the use of this technique as a problem, especially since Konoha would have a monopoly on this bitch. Sasuke is the only person that can use this technique at his own will. Despite being banned, the mere use of these techniques generally do not carry any legal consequence in respect of the village they used in, however the use is heavily frowned upon, especially those techniques that violate nature. Let's not forget this is called Naruto right? Naruto broke the biggest law ever within the first goddamn episode of this show. Multiple shadow clone jutsu is forbidden, but hey, you know, that's just Naruto things. Boruto has already established that the laws and shinobi system has drastically changed which are strictly abided by. Naruto as a kage is following all the laws and even the border rules for example which was established and explained in the Mitsuki arc in episode 86 of the anime. And when you read the Boruto manga, when you're reading it, he conducts multiple Gokage meetings. We also believe that Sasuke may use this technique in the future as a plot device of course. We have created a theory video months ago called Sasuke Uchiha's death theory and I explain how Sasuke may sacrifice himself for the greater good by using this technique as a plot device by helping his daughter Sarada Uchiha and Boruto Uzumaki. It will give us more clarification on the jutsu. So be sure to check out that video after finishing this one and let me know what you think. But ultimately, the most logical reasoning why Sasuke does not use this technique is because it can potentially kill the user, as both instances when this technique was first used by Nagato and then Obito, both of them eventually did die and Sasuke must know this. However, if I had to choose to bring back every single goddamn Uchiha member, including my own brother, I would risk my life without even thinking twice. And if you think about it, if the reasoning is potential death, and it's due to the depletion of chakra or life force. I mean, Naruto can easily fix that problem, as he has done so many times. Naruto has actually merged his chakra with Sasuke time and time again, literally called uh, Sasano with Nine Tails Kurama is a thing, right? Naruto has also saved Might Guy and Obito before in that manner too with his godly powers, so Naruto imbuing Sasuke with his chakra to use this technique for free with no consequences should be also possible. <laughs> So at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure we can all agree as a community that this may be a plot hole, right? Maybe it will be fixed in the future of clarification, who knows? But that's all folks, see you guys next time and let me know your opinion, see ya!